Welcome back to the channel. We know that things have been getting super messy between Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumper due to their divorce, especially when it comes to their kids. It was recently reported that Tiana Taylor decided to tell the judge that Iman is confusing their kids by having a female friend sleep over. Yes, it's been said that every time Tiana Taylor sends the girls over on the weekend to spend time with their father, he has this female friend over. Well, it leaves the kids confused and not knowing how to feel and what to think. And Tiana Taylor is confused concerned that this is negatively affecting their children but well, once this was put on the blogs a lot of people had a lot of negativity and backlash to give tiana taylor telling her that she is just jealous that iman is finally moving on from her well tiana taylor had to clear up that rumor through her attorney and let it be known actually she doesn't care that iman is moving on she's just solely worried about the safety of their children i know that's right tiana taylor mama bear okay she's even deciding to bring in a child psychologist to testify about something that went on a couple of weeks ago when the children went to visit their father like i told you guys in my last video i can only imagine that this is not easy on these children seeing daddy move on to someone new and actually seeing their parents apart and to get a divorce okay i do believe like a lot of you guys were saying in my last video that iman just doesn't want to be lonely at this point so he's keeping this woman over for comfort but come on your girls are only visiting you on the weekend you can take that time to solely just spend with your daughters and tell your female friend look i'll hang out with you later or you could come spend time with me on the weekdays but i need this time with my daughters i feel like it's very very important at this point now that mommy and daddy are no longer together but i want to know what you guys think in the comment section do you actually think that tiana taylor is jealous of this new female friend that iman is finally moving on or do you think that she's just worried about her kids i honestly think that she's just worried about her babies okay Let's go ahead and move on to Drake and Travis Scott. Okay, guys, it looks like Travis Scott has chose his side. It looks like he's deciding to side with Future, Metro Boomin, and everybody else who has turned their back against Drake. Yes, recently, Future had a show where he brought out Travis Scott, and Travis Scott was trying to get the DJ to play the song, The Drake Diss, like that. We know Kendrick Lamar, he put out this diss against Drake, and of course, it's been blowing up, and it's been said that everybody else, Rick Ross, Future, Metro Boom and everybody else is turning against Drake as well and Travis Scott is deciding to join in. He let it be known where he stands during the recent Rolling Loud California concert by saying play like that. It looks like of course Drake got hints of this and he decides to diss Travis Scott. During his recent concert while he was performing him and Travis Scott's hit song Meltdown he decided to bring out this giant Travis Scott head and then he was mimicking and acting like he was pium pium for YouTube purposes, I can't say that word, but film filming that Travis Scott head, okay? So Drake is letting it be known, look, it's up and it's stuck. Drake doesn't care who's turning against him. He's going against them as well. And like I told you guys in my previous video, I think this is why Drake is trying to make new friends in the industry because all of his old friends are turning against him. Now, at first, I kind of thought that all of this was for publicity to give their fans entertainment, but this might be real. I do feel like it is a little corny i'm not gonna lie i do feel like the travis scott head was a little corny but hey maybe this is not a publicity stunt maybe people are actually turning against drake and we see that drake is really really trying to make new friends of course his friendship with s red has been talked about but he's even getting close to streamers and other people i guess to make up for the friendships that he has lost y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section i feel like everybody is just turning against drake now let's go ahead and move on to our segment called Say It Ain't So. Yes, this is new. But looks like Sweetie decided to post this tweet a couple of days ago and she said, talking ish with a white tongue is diabolical. Well, tell me why it seems like Saucy Santana decided to seemingly, allegedly respond to Sweetie, kind of shading her. This is what he posted just the other day. He said, bees be writing raps that apply to them. Is that diabolical? Now let me find out that Saucy Santana is out here shading Sweetie for what reason would these two have to beef with each other i feel like everybody's just beefing at this point like i said it is alleged and if i get any more information i will definitely let you guys know now while we're talking about saucy santana let's go ahead and get into his best friend young miami now this is definitely something that i meant to bring to you guys a few days ago but young miami did finally decide to reply to the allegations that was put against her in this new diddy lawsuit yes we know in lil raw 
last lawsuit that he filed against Diddy, it did have Young Miami's name in it, saying that she was one of Diddy's S workers. Well, Young Miami responded on her Twitter and she said, y'all be going for anything. A fan responded back and said, you for that 250k a month. Young Miami responded back and she said, something the internet made up and y'all ran with it. Dudes don't even pay that for child support. Why the F would a dude ever pay me $250,000 for what? Now, I did feel like that was a little far-fetched. Like, why would he be paying her that much money? Especially because it's being said that he had numerous and other side chicks. He did have other S workers working for him. So why would he be paying Young Miami that much money? Now, yes, I do believe that he would spend a lot on her, but I just don't think he would do that much every month. Young Miami and Diddy did have a very transactional relationship and whether Young Miami wants to admit it now or not, she kind of has already admitted it in her songs and certain things that she has said and whether Young Miami, 50 Cent's baby mama want to say it when you are exchanging your body and things you doing with your body with a person you already know, S-E-X for money, then you are called an S worker, especially if it's continuous. I think that, you know, Young Miami and these other women don't want to call it that they don't want to be called that but essentially that's just what it is y'all let me know what y'all think and if y'all think that's true let's go ahead and move into cash doll congratulations to cash doll and her baby daddy tracy as they recently had their gender reveal we know that cash doll is expecting once again she said look this is my last child we know that these two have a beautiful baby boy and now their gender reveal revealed that they are having a girl okay i know this little girl is going to be gorgeous and beautiful because their son is already super super adorable so like i said congratulations to cash doll and tracy i'm wondering if we're going to be hearing wedding bells for these two soon y'all let me know what y'all think let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be Haley bieber and justin bieber okay Haley bieber is going through it right now as it's recently been reported that Haley is reportedly considering a trial separation from husband justin bieber sources say that she just needs a break okay so it said that Haley is going through a lot with social media people coming for her and making up false rumors about her on social media but she's also going through a lot within her marriage with Justin Bieber as well let's go ahead and get into some more information from it's on site shout out to y'all it says after a challenging period in their marriage Haley Bieber is contemplating a trial separation from her husband Justin Bieber according to an insider report from touch magazine the unnamed source said that Haley is struggling she just needs time to sort things out on her own the 27 year old model was reportedly feeling overwhelmed by the intense scrutiny on social media her father stephen baldwin shared a message asking for prayers for Haley and justin hinting at marriage issues additionally she had to deal with fans rumors of them saying that she had an affair with a billionaire over the past few years Haley and justin have faced health issues the health scare led to the tour being canceled for justin Haley just wants to to live on her own for a while back in 2021 Haley became candid about her struggles of her marriage explaining I called my mom crying like I just can't do this but I've loved this person for a very long time now now would not be the time to give up on him however despite their rough patches in their marriage the model wants to try to maintain her relationship Haley is not asking for a divorce she knows that Justin just feels hurt and confused but she's lost too she just needs a break said sources okay this is very very unfortunate it seems like Haley is dealing with and trying to take on a lot with trying to make her marriage last with Justin Bieber to me it seems like Justin Bieber might really believe some of the rumors of her having an affair that kind of shows a lot within their marriage as well like why doesn't he trust you enough to know that those rumors are false okay it's crazy because I think about the fact of how Haley kind of manifested her relationship with Justin Bieber if you guys know you know that Haley had a crush on Justin Bieber when she was younger and it was said and I even read tweets of her you know hitting up people trying to see where he would be like when she was a teenager you know what I'm saying so she kind of she kind of seeked him out and she actually got to be with her childhood crush so I know she felt like that was amazing when they first got together but I think things have took a rocky turn within their marriage I 
I can only imagine that things are really not easy within their marriage because I think Justin Bieber is dealing with and battling with a lot himself. I mean, this is something that's even been said. It's not even something that I have to say, oh, I think. I mean, he's opened up and said being a childhood star, of course, wasn't as great. It wasn't as terrific as people try to make it out to be. Of course, this is why we're getting the Quiet on the Set docuseries where we actually get to see what child stars were going through. Even Matthew Underwood, like I told you guys in my previous video, video he decided to speak out about things he went through so it's not all the glitz and glam that we see Justin Bieber has been through a lot and I think he's still trying to heal from that because as we know our childhood it definitely has a big impact on our adulthood and how we handle situations so I think with him healing from that dealing with that you know what I'm saying and him trying to be in this marriage and trying to you know deal with his partner I think it's a lot now I'm not standing up for Justin Bieber I think that if he cannot treat Haley as she deserves to be treated he should walk away but I think they're both just trying to make things work but I do think that Justin Bieber has a lot of trauma Haley could have some trauma herself Self, but the fact that she's constantly trying with Justin Bieber the fact that she spoke out and said this would not be the time to give up on him and I know he's heard and he's just confused kind of insinuates that it's Justin Bieber who's mostly going through a lot more things and this is what I will have to say to end this off right sometimes we try to take on some battles that we're not supposed to take on right I feel like Jesus he can work with people more than we can, right? I feel like Haley, she's trying to heal and help Justin Bieber. And that's why it seems so overwhelming because it's not your job to do that. Sometimes you got to leave things to Jesus. You got to leave it to God. You got to leave some people to God. It will take you out of your comfort zone. It will take you out of your peace trying to heal, trying to fix people. But that is not your job to do. You got to leave them to Jesus. So I feel like her taking this break, she feels like maybe things will work out when they get back together. But if it doesn't work out, since it just doesn't work out. You cannot force a connection or force something that's not meant to be unfortunately yes they look like a beautiful couple yes they have years with each other but the fact that she was speaking out and crying and calling her mom in 2021 you know what i'm saying saying she couldn't do this anymore and it's 2024 and you're feeling the same way that's a big red flag i feel like she's trying to force something that might not be meant to be maybe they can fight through it you know you're gonna have a couple of bad years a few years of bad years in your marriage but it is all about how you guys bounce back it takes two to tango i hope justin bieber is fighting just as hard as we see Haley is fighting but anyways i'm not gonna say anymore i'm gonna end off this video once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think about all of these topics like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your day